。最近黄仁勋上了一个访谈的节目，聊了挺多信息啊，很大的信息量。Honor to have you here. It's great to be here, Pete. So when President Trump first announced tariffs earlier this year, your company was hit pretty hard. On Friday, though, you announced that you're going to start making the wafers for AI chips in the United States. Can you tell us more about what your plan is? Yeah, this last week was a historic week.、Uh, we manufactured the most advanced AI chips in the world, in the most advanced fab in the world, here in America for the first time. Uh, all of this started with President Trump wanting to re-industrialize the United States. His terrorist was a pressing、uh, agent in making this possible at the at the at the speed that we're doing. And now, at uh, uh, just in sh shortly after less than a year, we're now manufacturing the most advanced chips for AI here in the United States.、We're, this is just the beginning of it.、Uh, with the partnership of the supply chain in Taiwan, TSMC is incredible partner, in, a strategic partner for the United States, and in, in bringing manufacturing of the most in, most critical sector of technology here to to the United States.、Uh, this is just the starting point. Where after that. With Foxconn, Amcor, Spill,、uh, Wistron, so many of our other partners, we're going to bring the entire supply chain of building AI infrastructure back here in the United States. By the end of、uh, the next、uh, three or four years, we'll probably manufacture. We're on on target to manufacture about half a trillion dollars of AI supercomputing technology to be installed here in the United States. And you were in Arizona at the plant on Friday.、Uh, you said there that this is the single most important chip being produced in America. What does it do that makes you say that? Well, Nvidia is at the epicenter, where the engine of the largest industrial revolution、uh, in human history. The last ones were steam engine, electricity, information technology, and now we're creating artificial intelligence. Digital intelligence that augments all of the things that we do. It's going to affect every single industry. There's not one industry that's not affected by intelligence, of course. And so this is going to revolutionize every single industry. We're at the beginning of that industrial revolution. We've manufactured now several hundred billion dollars of this chip called Blackwell. You apply electricity to it. It processes. You know, information and what comes out of it is digital intelligence. It's a kind of a miracle thing, and、uh, it's hard to understand. Kind of like electricity back in the old days,、uh, but soon AI will be everywhere、uh, in the world, and it's going to be used by every company. It will be used by every industry, and this Blackwell chip is the engine of that artificial intelligence. And so we're super excited that we're manufacturing that for the very first time here in America. 主持人一上来就提到，川普之前不是加了关税吗？因为达其实当时也是被打得非常疼啊。结果上周，黄仁勋突然宣布，他们已经在开始在美国本土生产 AI 晶片晶圆。他说，这一周是历史性的，他们在美国最先进的工厂里面生产出了世界上最先进的 AI 芯片。这背后其实跟川普。在工业化的政策是直接相关，那一波关税啊，看似是打击，反而呢，其实成了一个催化剂，让整个 AI 制造链以更快的速度落地在美国。黄仁勋还提出，这只是一个起点，未来三四年啊，他们会把整条 AI 的供应链，包括台积电、富士康、伟创这些合作伙伴，都带回美国，目的是在美国生产，完成大概五千亿美元规模的 AI 超级计算系统的一个建设。然后主持人问他：“为什么你说这颗芯片是美国最重要的芯片呢？”啊，好像是那个 Blackwell 啊，我记得。黄仁勋的回答其实挺有意思，他说：“英伟达现在正站在人类历史上最大的一次工业革命的中心啊，这个非常的宏大。之前前几次工业革命分别是蒸汽机，之前前几次工业革命分别是蒸汽机、电力啊、信息技术，那现在呢就是人工智能 AI。”会影响所有的行业，没有例外啊！你不关注也会影响。他形容那块芯片叫 Blackwell 啊，就是 Blackwell， 给它通上电呢，它就能产生数字智能。这听起来非常玄乎，但本质上就是新的能源转换形式，电能变成智能。他说。
。这就像电力刚出现的那几年，人们还没有反应过来它的意义啊。In the last three years or so, and we can put this up on the screen, your company's stock is up 1,500 percent because of the surge in AI demand. Is that sustainable, or are we in an AI bubble? We're actually at the beginning of this industrial revolution. The way to think about AI is that in order for AI to be produced, you need a factory. That factory takes energy. This is one of the most important things that President Trump did for the technology industry here in the United States: is to recognize that energy is necessary for this industry to grow. President Trump's pro-energy initiatives has made it possible for us to sustain our growth. You take the energy. You put it into these AI factories, and it produces digital intelligence. We're about a hundred, couple of hundred billion dollars into this journey. We have trillions of dollars of AI infrastructure to build throughout the next decade, and so this is a just in the very, very beginning part of that journey. 再往下，主持人提到英伟达股价三年涨了一千五百个百分点，问他是不是 AI 泡沫？黄仁勋很淡定啊，他说现在只是工业革命的开端呢。什么泡沫呢？其实黄黄仁勋这说的没错啊，其实他那个芯片的需求非常非常大，十比一的需求，他只能生产十市场市场的十分之一，大大的马力也只能生产市场需求的十分之一。他还特别提到的是一点，就是 AI 其实是一种工厂，这种工厂需要能源，他称这是川普政策的最重要的一环，强调。重新强调能源对科技增长的一个意义。能源进入到工厂，产出的就是数字智能。这一段呢，挺像他一贯的风格。AI 不是代码堆出来的，而是一套完整的基础设施啊，又有软件，又有能源，又有硬件，又有又，现在还是自己在美国生产啊。啊、uh, ，We know that AI, and you were just talking about this, it is going to replace millions of people's jobs basically in the next couple of years. But you now are saying that. The next generation of U.S. millionaires are going to be plumbers and electricians. We have a lot of plumbers and electricians watching right now. Why is it that you say that they are going to become millionaires? Well, we're going to have to build these magnificent factories, magnificent, magnificent factories for chips, for packaging, for these AI supercomputers, but also for these factories that are producing digital intelligence. All of these factories requires extraordinary skilled craft. This is something that that、uh, our country needs to to really really celebrate. That the 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 skilled craft professions are are severely、um, uh, under resourced. We just don't have nearly enough of them. Plumbers, electricians,、uh, technicians, networking、uh, networking technicians, building out these incredible factories. We need a lot of them, hundreds of thousands of them,、uh, maybe even millions of them. And so we're at the beginning of this new industrial revolution, and any industrial revolution requires skilled craft. And I really appreciate the the work that was done in Arizona. In fact, if you look at Arizona in just a very short period of time, we went from groundbreaking. To standing up this incredible advanced fab with TSMC, and all of the professionals and all the the workers in Arizona,、uh, they came together to build、uh, the world's first, our first AI chip here in America. So I really appreciate all the effort they put into it. They worked around the clock. It's incredible what they've done. And the last thing before we let you go, Nvidia used to have 95% market share in China. Now it's down to zero. President Trump is going to talk to Xi next week. He might be watching right now. Do you want him to plug the chips, the new chips? Well, President Trump's AI action plan—he、um, made it—he made it an imperative that this is our Apollo moment. That AI is too important a technology for America not to. 最后，主持人提了一个有趣的问题，就是很多人担心 AI 会抢走工作，但黄仁勋说，下一代美国的百万富翁会是电工和水管工。啊，这么说，因为这些 AI 工厂、芯片厂、封装厂，全部都需要大量的这个技工去建啊、去维护啊，未来的产业升级，靠的不是写 PPT 的人，而是能动手的人。他说，在亚利桑那那边呢，大家几乎是日夜赶工啊，才把这个新的工厂建起来。那种现场的工艺能力是美国真正的底气。节目的最后，他也回应了中国市场，因为达在中国市场的份额从百分之九十五直接掉到了零。
，但他没有太过的抱怨啊。他说，川普现在有 AI 的这个行动计划，这是美国的阿波罗时刻 ，AI 对国家太重要了，美国必须在这里领先。这一段其实挺典型的，就是黄仁勋在用这种再工业化的一个叙事啊，把 AI 讲成一个制造业复兴的一个故事。芯片不只是算力啊，更像是新时代的电厂。黄仁勋真的是非常厉害啊，所有的事情都说得非常理性啊，特别适合英伟达这家公司，他是一个非常称职的 CEO。英伟达也非常的非常的有空间吧，我认为就是在。美国的这个需求来讲 ，AI 的需求，你看一下 AMD 能够这么涨的话，我认为英伟达它其实没有泡沫，它根本就不算泡沫，它非常多的这个订单它是排到了，就是没办法生产过来，它现在市盈率是五十几，五十几啊 ，PE 是五十几位，但是它在明年会赚更多钱，就它市盈率会降下来。好的，感谢大家收看，我们下期再见，再见之前一定要点赞订阅我的频道，打开小铃铛，谢谢，拜拜。